ArchiCAD, like many other programs, has layers. Layers are used to separate elements logically, so related groups of elements such as dimensions, furniture, electrical symbols, or anything else is usually placed on a common layer. An element can only belong to a single layer, and also layers are global, which means that the same layers are available on all stories in all windows. And to actually get to layers, there's a number of different ways. We can click on Options, Element Attributes, Layer Settings, also from the Document, Layers, Layer Settings. We can also click this icon here and the shortcut of Control L. Each one of these methods gets us to the Layers palette. Once this palette is open, we have it divided into two areas. If I collapse this side, we'll just concentrate on the layers part first. The first column down here means we can lock or unlock individual layers. Once locked, we can't edit it or move anything on that particular layer. Next, if we want to look at a layer or not look at a layer, so when the eye is showing, we can see that particular layer and when it's hidden, it's obviously hidden on the floor plan and section everywhere else in the project. The third icon allows us to look at anything on the particular selected layer in solid form or wireframe. To illustrate what a neat feature this is, I will just push OK and go to the 3D window by pushing F3. And here we can see our building with the layers, external walls for example, on a solid layer. Now if I go back to the layers dialog and I change the external walls to a wireframe by left mouse clicking on this icon here and go OK, all the external walls throughout the project become wireframe. So it's a great way to look inside our project and see really what's going on inside the building. So it's a very handy little feature. So if I close that and go back to the layers, the next column is the layer intersection group. These numbers that are underneath this icon indicate the number of the intersection group that the elements on that particular layer belong to. Only elements that are on the same intersection group will connect with each other. So if you don't want two walls to connect with each other, you simply change the number in this column. Then we have the layer name. There are many different ways to name your layers. And in this example here, I've grouped them into building elements. So the sites, the floors, the walls, the roofs, the structures, detailed dimensions. The basic guide here, I would suggest to try and keep the layers to a minimum. And if you don't need a layer, get rid of it. Try not to make the layers longer than your screen. So when you open your layers, you can quickly choose a layer and spot the layer if you're looking for it. It's also important not to put silly names in there um, that are perhaps legacy to other 2D packages where you've got layers for your pens and layers for your pen colours and silly things like that. In ArchiCAD, you're building a virtual building, so make the layers reflect a building site, a virtual building site. If we added an extension to the layer's name in this field here, this can act as an additional sorting control if you've got a lot of layers. For example, if I put an extension of just say one at the end of here, it can be alphanumeric, it doesn't matter. And, and if I clicked walls to demolish and added a one here as well, and perhaps into the veranda, place a one there. Now, once all those extensions have been defined, if I left mouse click on the funnel icon over here, it will show just the layers that have similar extensions. To edit a layer's name, we actually do that from the fields available down here. And to create a new layer, we type new and call it a new layer and that will appear in the center dialog and to change the name once again we can change the wall, the wall priority or we can change the priority the name and extension down in these boxes here and as we change those 
they will transfer up into this area over here. We can also delete that same layer. Any changes only become effective after we push the OK button. Then on the left hand side we have layer combinations. In the layer combinations side of the dialog box we can actually define and save sets of layers. A layer combination is basically a snapshot of the state of all the layers in a project and can be recalled at any time by selecting its name from the dialog box. So it's a quick way of turning heaps of layers on and off and saving them to basically set up a drawing or a particular purpose that you may have on the floor plan or throughout your project. The icons down here line up with the ticks in the layer combinations over here. So we can see here the wall's internal layer is also illustrated here and it's actually telling us which layer combination in and the state that it's in in that particular layer combination. So as I change that, those ticks will change in relation to what's actually selected or the state of that layer in this particular layer combination. And to create a new combination, we can just turn layers on or off, lock layers, turn wireframes on, and once we've got the desired layer combination set, we check new, and then we call it a name, test, comb, and push OK. Now, we can recall that set exactly how I saved it, but we must push OK in order for ARCHICAD to remember that layer combination. So if I go back there, I can just go back to maybe plans for approval and push OK. In addition to that, if I wanted to edit a layer combination, so I'm going to make sure the layer combination is selected, modify it, I want to turn the zones off, and perhaps the, or the section markers. Once I've made the modifications, I just press the update button, and I push OK. Now, that combination has been modified. We have one more bag of tricks with the layers, and that's the quick layers palette. So if we click on the window tool, go to palettes, we can come down to the quick layers down here, left mouse click on it, and then this palette opens up. The first icon is the show hide toggle, and that inverts the visibility of all layers. So anything that's off comes on, anything that's on goes off. The second icon allows us to lock and unlock toggle and this inverts the state of all protected and unprotected layers so you can't really see that there without opening the layer palette. The third section of this palette allows us to change the state of the layer that we've got selected so for example if I had this wall selected we can either hide this is the external walls layer which we can see up here if I check this button it will hide them and rather than opening the layer palette to, to show that all again, I can just undo that command. If I select it again, I can also lock it, unlock it, and then I can also hide all the layers and undo that. And of course, I can lock all the layers. So that's a fairly valuable little tool palette that we can have open if we've got the desktop space.